Insert, update, and delete. Okay. So insert means so what are the tables we created? What are the tables we created here? The batch nine table we created, right? So for that batch nine table, I, we are going to insert the data. So we are going to insert the store the data into batch nine table. So this DML command is not auto commit. You have to give the you have to give the you have explicitly you have to save. Otherwise, it won't save the records. Whatever the transaction you did, that did that transaction you have to save. Otherwise, it won't save it won't save into the table. Okay. So how to insert the data? We have two ways. We are we can able to insert the data in the two ways. Two ways we can go into insert the data. One is the by value method, by address method. So the two ways we can able to insert the data into table. The first method will go insert. The syntax will be insert into table name. Now batch zero nine. There is no batch nine, right? We rename it. We rename it to batch zero nine. So I am going to give the batch zero nine values. You have to here. You have to what are the columns are there? That column values you have to pass. Here how many columns are there, guys? Employee number, employee name. Contact and then salary. There are four columns are there at, at the moment. Now I have the only four columns are there in a table: employee number, employee name, contact, and salary. So that values you have to pass here. Okay. What is employee number? One zero one. Okay. So employee name. So I am going to just give the wrong here, guys. Other than the number. Other than the data type number, okay. What are the data types are you defined? Either var car, float, or date, anything double. Other than other than the number number, for all the data types, all the columns you have to specify in the single quote. For example, var car is nothing but the you have to give in the like this single quote you have to give. If you go date date column date column. Again, you have to give in the single quote. Okay. You can see here contact will be. I am going to give one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then salary. So salary also I defined as a worker two. Means that also I have to give in the single quote. Thousand. <coughs> so like that, you, you can able to insert the data into tables. Insert into table name values. What are the values are there? Columns are there. That column data you have to insert. It. So example one zero one ram one two three four five. So here, okay. <coughs> See one row inserted. One row inserted. If you want to see the data, means that is a DRL command. So select. How to see the data? Select. Star from batch zero nine. Batch zero nine. Okay, the like that you can able to see the data. What are the data we are going to inserted here? We can able to see the data here by using the select star from table name. See one record is saved here. One record is stored. One zero one ram one two three four five salary. Like that, if you want n number of records, they are thousand or one lakh records. The same way you can go and insert into the same way insert into <coughs> batch nine values one zero two. <coughs> Sorry. Suresh, some number. Okay, I'm going to give two thousand. See one more record inserted. But now I don't have the 
contact number i don't have at the moment i don't have the information contact so i, I have the only information employee number employee name and salary then how, how to you have to insert the these three comments these three columns for example same thing i am going to insert here so i don't have the salary column okay i have only 102 employee number employee name and then salary these three column information is there so i'm trying to insert only these three values the error is at will showing errors yeah if you execute this one see what happened not enough values because of actually in our table how many how many columns are there total four, four columns, columns. but i am trying to insert only three columns here so that is the reason it's throw the error not enough values so in this case what we have to do in this case what you have to do you have to define column the, names mention yeah, the column names yeah we have to mention the column names column names batch 9 so what are the columns you have employee number id employee ID number, name employee name salary like that salary. you have to explicitly you have to mention the column names which are the columns you are passing that columns you have to specify in the batch 9 here okay now you can see see one row inserted see guys employee number employee name salary only it's inserted and the contact number i don't i don't know that is the reason it by, by default it passing the null value because of the we are not inserted the contact number contact values we, we didn't pass here so that is the reason by default it came to the null value clear guys clear okay so now come to the so i'm going to insert some values so this is the value method so this is we call it as a value by default we are passing the value and then based on that we are inserted the some values now we'll we'll go for the address method address means no need to type everything every time on the fly we can able to enter the values that values is going to sit into the table okay we'll see address method also insert into batch 09 values this is the impression impression of the employee number you have to do single quotes and pronounce the employee name contact comma and pronounce the salary We have C employee number is a numbered format. That's why I didn't give any single quote. The employee name salary will be where care. That is the reason I given the single quotes. Okay. So contact is a number. That's why I didn't I didn't give any single quote. For the other than the number, you have to give always in the single quotes. Okay. Like that, if you give if you execute this one, it's going to ask the value. What is the employee number? I am going to give 103. Okay. What is the screen was? Value. So, some value are given. Salary. See. One row inserted. The same command, whatever the we write value method, this is generated the same value. Insert into batch 9 values 103 screen was same query is generated here you can see guys this is your query and this is the the value what was after entering the values it passing that values here and then it is inserted if you want you can go and see in 04 screen was always so one more time is just enter 104 3 
ground rule inserted see guys so this is the way we can able to insert the values every time no need to write all the things one one query single query you can write then keep on you can able to insert the always you can able to insert the on the fly by ampersand by using the ampersand method address we call it as address method this one is the address method okay otherwise you have to every time you have to write this query these values you have to pass and then you have to execute clear guys so these two ways you can able to insert the data into tables one is the value method one is the address method clear guys if you want to save these records if you want to save these records you have to use the commit comit this you have this record you have to use the commit then only this record is going to save into the database permanently so for example you can see guys i am going to do commit so commit complete i executed the commit command just select and then run so commit completed now whatever the records i created this record is saving the saved the database permanently okay now i am trying to insert one more record i am going to insert one more record On zero six. What then? Okay. Something. One row inserted. So one zero six is there. So I did the rollback. Means I didn't save right now. Just roll back. Undo. Roll back is nothing but the undo. Okay. Roll back. If I execute the roll back, roll back complete. Now you can go and see, guys. See, up to one zero four only it's showing because of one zero four only I saved the database. After that, whatever the data I inserted, that data is. It's not saved in the database. Just I inserted. That's it. After that, I didn't save. For this DML command, the not auto commit. You have to give explicitly. You have to save the records, the transactions. What are the transactions you you done? That you have to save explicitly. Means you have to do the commit. If you didn't do the commit, then that records will be not saved into database. Yes, the these records are inserted into a table, but it's not saved into database. Clear, guys? For example, I did again one more time. So now I am doing the commit. So now my data will be showing one zero six one then one two three. If I roll back, now I will do the roll back. Can go and see. See, my record will be saved because of the I already saved my record before the rollback. I already saved my record into database. Clear, guys? The DDL command, DML command difference. DDL are the auto commit. No, you no need to give the commit. Auto save. While executing the command, any any DDL command, it's so automatically is going to save. But DML you have to save manually. So not auto commit. DML commands are the not auto commit. 